So hi guys. Uh, so in this video, we are going to see like uh, how to create and install like Jenkins server and uh, how to install Docker on the same server. So in this video, we are going to create servers. So this is my account. Okay, as you can see, I don't have any uh, running instances. So first, I will go and I will click on launch instance. Okay. Okay. So now here I will be using Ubuntu server to create Jenkins uh, server. Okay. So here it is given. I will select this free tier eligible Ubuntu, and then I will choose instant type. I will leave it as a T2 dot micro only. That is sufficient for this testing. And I will create it in default VPC. Okay. Storage is sufficient, so I will leave it as it is. Okay. For security group, uh, we will change it to all traffic. And here anyway, anywhere. Okay, after that, we will redo and we will launch it. I will be using this. Uh, I already have one key pair, so I will be using that only. If you don't have, then you can create a new one. So I will give it a name. I will do SSH into that server. So now we have logged into the server. So the next work is to install Jenkins. So for that we will search, we will go to uh, Jenkins website. Okay. So uh, here, after coming here uh, to Jenkins website, you can come down and here we can select this Ubuntu slash Debian and we need to follow these steps to install Jenkins on our server. So uh, first we need to add this key. After that we will add this repository. After that we need to update our server. So let's update it. So it's updating now. So it's updated now. So after that, uh, as uh, Jenkins is written on Java language, so we need we should have uh, Java on our server. Then only it will work. So for that, we are installing Java. So it will take little time. So I will pause this video for that much time. So now Java is installed, guys. Uh, we can check it by Java again. So we can see Java is already Java is installed now. After that, uh, using apt get, we need to install Jenkins on our server. Now, uh, Jenkins is installing, guys. So it is taking a little time. Yeah. So now Jenkins is installed, guys. So what we will do? We'll start Jenkins. So, uh, sudo. For that, we need to run this command. Go system start. And we will check status for this.
So as we can see, Jenkins is running now. So our next step is to uh, copy the IP address from the server. Okay, and we can as Jenkins runs on eighty eighty port, we can check it. So yeah, so as we can see, this Jenkins is running now. So uh, we need to get the credentials like uh, which will be stored in this location to go further to do further steps. So what we will do, we'll copy this path. Okay, we'll go to our terminal. Okay, we'll run sudo cat and then put that. So this is the password. We need to copy and we need to paste it here, and then we can continue. Mm -hmm. So after that, here we need to click on the uh, suggested plugin. So this will install all the plugins which are required during the uh, project. So these are the basic plugins we need to run a simple Jenkins application also, or uh, Jenkins project also. So you can see all the names are given which is getting installed. So till it will get installed, I will pause the video, guys. It will take a little while. Or else, guys, or else let it get installed, guys. What we will do, we'll install Jenkins till then. Uh, sorry, Docker till then on our server. We have to install Docker also. So for Docker, what we have to do, you can just go. You can write here install Docker. Okay. After writing that, you will get this uh, in first only. After clicking on this one, you'll get this page. Okay. Docker dot Docker dot com engine install Debian. So. Uh, here actually i will come back and i will show you you'll you'll first you'll get this table okay in this table you need to click on the debian okay after clicking on debian you'll it will this page will come okay after that in this just come down come down uh, come here yeah yeah this one so from here you can install you just need to copy this this is your script you need to add on your terminal okay so it got added here after that just need to run this script so now docker is installing here you can check so docker is installed now so one more last step is there in docker so for that what we need to do is like we need to write here post installation action in docker so you just need to click on this link okay then you need to come down you need to add a user to this docker group so for that you just need to copy this command okay and you need to run it so now docker is installed completely you can check You can see here Docker 20 is installed now. So let's check whether our plugin got installed or not. So it is still installing. So after plugin installation, this page will come. So what we have to do here is like we need to give our username. Okay. Here we need to give password. Okay. And then confirm password. Then full name. Email address. After that, just save and continue. This will be the URL where our campaigns will open. So we have already opened it. We can copy and we can keep it required and here after that just start using Jenkins. so this is the page where we will create our uh, jobs and all or we need to if you want to manage Jenkins, then you can go to manage Jenkins and you can uh, create credentials so th uh, these things you will see in upcoming videos so now our docker is also running So we have successfully installed Docker and Jenkins both. So uh, coming videos, we'll see how to get the container and deploy it.
Thank you, guys.